Fellas, it's December and I'm honestly feeling the best I've felt in a very long time and I'm crediting that to my tailored nutrition. I'm so excited to share this what I eat in a day with you guys, really catered to myself because it is brought to you by Inside Tracker. I've been working with them for almost a full year now and I can really tell the difference. I'm going to talk about why I'm making specific nutrition choices in my diet, tailored specifically to like myself and my biomarkers, so stay tuned. But we're obviously starting off the day with a cold brew. Can't go wrong with any cold brew, honestly, but this one I picked up at Grocery Outlet literally like yesterday and I was like, okay, the pumpkin spice cold brew sounds pretty good and it's unsweetened. I don't like sweetened coffee normally, so the pumpkin spice cold brew along with the cinnamon swirl oat creamer, literally perfect combo and it's both unsweetened. So it was honestly amazing, especially for this time of year, but I'm going to admit guys, my cortisol levels are really high right now, which is not good, it's a stress hormone. And I definitely think caffeine is not helping that, but again, it's so good and it's like the one thing that I feel like I need for my own sanity in the day, so. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it in my diet. Anyways, we're gonna try to counteract the high cortisol levels with some vitamins, some nutrients, and we're going in with a noon immunity tablet. This is the blackberry acai flavor. So good, by the way. I like it with ice cold water. And I also started adding in greens to my diet. I mean, I've been taking them on and off, but now I've been taking them every single day. And it's the AG1 powder from Athletic Greens. A huge fan of this greens powder. I'm sure you guys know of it, but Seriously, by far the best tasting greens powder, like 75 different minerals, vitamins, so good. And it's like the perfect morning concoction that gives me that serving of greens and extra vitamins and minerals in the morning because I'm not the best at eating greens in the morning. So taking this little concoction of noon and AG1 is super helpful. And also I've been taking vitamin D and probiotics religiously. My vitamin D has been low forever. I'm going to be honest, I have not been the best at consistently like every day taking my vitamin D, but now after getting this third result back of having it be low, I am going to take it every single day and I have been taking it every single day so props to me I'm really hoping to see some massive changes with that in the next round anyway we're having the usual banana peanut butter oatmeal cinnamon combo for breakfast and we're already moving on to lunch okay I always eat organic pasture raised eggs I don't know why they just taste better also I always eat the yolks because my vitamin b12 is low and that yolks are really high in vitamin b12 along with nutritional yeast please enjoy my really poorly flipping of the eggs I try to make them runny but sometimes I just flip them too soon and that was a disaster this morning <laughs> but this is my go-to like lunch or breakfast combo sometimes I switch between the oats and this combo it's just fresh jasmine rice topped with the two fried runny eggs these liquid aminos which is a soy sauce alternative and they are so good I like it way better than soy sauce I honestly don't know what the benefits are so don't ask me we also add some avocado on there sometimes I saute a bunch of spinach and olive oil too and add that to this for an extra serving of greens but this combo, whatever this is, I don't even know how I came up with this, where I saw it. It looks kind of disgusting, I'm not gonna lie, but it is so good. And I also love rice and I forgot that. So this has been on repeat lately. It's so good, I highly recommend this combo. Full of healthy fats, B12, a little bit of protein, carbs, really keeps me full for a long time as well. Today I didn't have any snacks, but usually I do have a snack. Usually I have like multiple pieces of fruit, like an apple or something and a crazed foods bar maybe, but I had too much caffeine anyway. So <laughs> we went straight to dinner with some sprouts and we're tossing in olive oil to help out that LDL cholesterol. Somehow my LDL cholesterol is high, which is kind of mortifying because I don't want high cholesterol. But I actually talked to one of the Inside Tracker dietitians and she said that it's fairly common for what you would think in like endurance athletes. Anyways, I threw in some garlic, salt, and pepper, the holy grail of spices for me. Yes, I am um, uncultured and I use garlic, salt, and pepper for everything. So look at those beautifully coated Brussels sprouts straight to the air fryer, my favorite appliance. I'll have my air fryer linked down below, but by far my favorite thing in the kitchen. I use it for everything. And then we're putting a piece of salmon in the middle, tossing it in some garlic, salt, and pepper. And we're tossing it in the air fryer. I did like 14, 13 to 14 minutes at 375. I definitely am still perfecting this with my new air fryer, but this Ninja one is really good. So I highly recommend, I got it from like Target or something but it came out like a little too crispy this time. Also, this lighting looks horrid, I think because it was night and I'm filming in my kitchen and I have no extra lighting, but the salmon looks white for some reason. So please disregard that, but it was very delicious. This combo of Brussels sprouts and air fried salmon is absolutely phenomenal, 10 out of 10. I wish I could eat it every day, but salmon is a little too expensive for my budget, but. <laughs> now we're going to probably one of my favorite parts of the day, my little, 
chucky milk at the end of the day <laughs> i've been using this beam dream cbd powder to help me fall asleep and i talked about it a little bit i think on my youtube videos maybe on my instagram and podcast but for the last year i had been having the hardest time falling asleep i don't know if it was due to stress or i i genuinely don't know because usually i'm a good sleeper but this beam dream has 100% changed my life in terms of sleep. It helps me fall asleep so fast and it also tastes so good. It has like chocolatey cinnamon flavor that I just blend with almond milk and two ice cubes and it puts me to sleep so fast. I have a discount link too and I'll leave that in the description, but I highly recommend Beam. I am so glad that I get to work with Inside Tracker because I think it's helped me so much, not only feel better, but also like keep my hormones in check, really tailor my nutrition to myself and my own biomarkers. Everyone is so different. That's why I really recommend and you go get your blood levels checked because what you put into your body affects how you're gonna feel on a day-to-day -day basis and perform out on the track or whatever sport that you do. Get my blood drawn check. Inside tracker, this, the things I do to work on my nutrition, okay? <laughs> Just got my blood drawn check. I got really sweaty, but it's always fine. I do a good job and it's worth it for the biomarkers. Woo, 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 woo. They also gave me my inner age this past time and I'm happy to say my inner age for my blood work and my biomarkers is 18 and I'm 25. So I've got those young biomarkers. Okay, swag. Go to insidetracker.com slash Emma to get 28% off the entire store. Follow me on my food Instagram, one craze foodie. If you want to see how I'm optimizing my biomarkers and just general recipes, I'm going to be more active on that account in the new year. So thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out fellows.